Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav, Gaurav Singh and today I am here to tell you something about virtualization as it, as it is written out there. So, what is virtualization? Virtualization is a technique to transform hardware into a software. Basically, this is a means by which we can, you know, decouple a software from a hardware. You know, like uh, creating a virtual version of something rather than creating a physical version. So, is there a fayda kya hoga? Abhi tak jo hamari applications aati thi x86, uh, you know, this x, oh my god. This was our x86 architecture. The problem with this was it does not support more than one application per server. So it means that if you have a small business, hai, you need to have that much number of servers as many as there are applications. Hongi. Be it DNS, be it DHCP, domain controller, any you know SQL or any application, you need one server per application the problem was it was highly inefficient by any means of measure hardly 10 to 15 percent was occupied you know the efficiency was very less and you know the cost the pricing they were very high because it cost at least 10 lakhs Indian rupees to buy a server with all the setup, HB card and all that stuff. What virtualization did is that, I'm only talking about server virtualization right now. So virtualization can be of many types. It can be a desktop virtualization, application virtualization, network, storage virtualization, you know, many of, but primarily I'm talking about server virtualization only, right? So what it did is that, it uses something called binary translation I am putting it in caps because this is something which changed the world when we talk about full virtualization what exactly the binary translation is I will tell you in a, in, a, in a next session but right now just remember the word binary translation this is the player by which we efficiently virtualize our servers and now we can run multiple servers on a single hardware so when you are using multiple servers multiple workloads on the same hardware easily you can optimize the resources and now we can run up to 80 to 90 percent or even sometimes even more crossing up to 100 percent compute resources and have a full optimized servers running in our data center efficiently so it saves us dollars it saved you know carbon footprint and now we have you know efficient data centers more intelligent data centers with very limited you know people to your know, manage it so this is the next thing in coming there are better things like cloud computing, but the heart of cloud is virtualization. I'll be mainly talking about VMware. Oops. I'm talking about VMware virtualization, server virtualization. And it's called vSphere. There are multiple other virtualization as well, like KVM, oops, KVM, we have Oracle VM, we have what else? We have Hyper-V, we have Citrix, Zen Server, and many others. But market leader is VMware by miles and far. So this is what we'll be talking about in next sessions thank you very much i really appreciate your time thank you hello all 
my name is Gaurav Singh and today's session we'll learn something about what is a vSphere as it is written on the screen. So guys, vSphere is not just a server or just an application. vSphere is not just an application or a server. It's in fact a complete suit. Or you can say vSphere is a complete suit. In this vSphere, ke andar hota hai ek, let's say, a vSphere vSphere server a web client or you can have a thick client for the connections to the vSphere server or to the ESXi host yes it also have the ESXi hosts what else SSO in Win inventory etc so vSphere is a complete suit which have all these components clubbed together and makes a complete vSphere right so you know it's an environment there have been multiple versions of vSphere currently the latest version is vSphere 6 before that we have 5.5 .5. yeah and it also ran through the up uh, updates before that we have 5.1 and before that we have 5.0 we have 5.0 we got 4.1 we got 4.0 3 3.5 3.0 2.5 and before that it was GSX. So this was the complete, you know, the hierarchy how it moved from starting from 2.5 to right now at 6. There have been major changes before, and we'll be learning about all those changes in the next sessions. What exactly the upgrades came and how it benefited the business, and you know, how it can install, how it can install the monster. VMs on different versions the maxima and minima of all the versions basically how it benefits so bottom line is vsphere is not just a server many users and many even admit administrators have this misconception it's just a server or just an application of 348 or 358 MBs no it's a complete suit so this is where i want to you know stop myself right now and we'll learn everything again in the next session thank you